The first thing that we want to work on here is the actual canvas size that we're going to be using for the web page. So I'm going to click on File, I'm going to click on New, and you're going to notice that you have a series of preset sizes here. And if you click on the drop down, notice that these sizes for this US paper. If you click on this though, take a look at this. If I go to the web, and you'll notice that inside of the size section you have 640 by 480, 800 by 600, 1024 by 768, and these are default video sizes. So it basically follows video monitors, right? So these were the three common for the longest time, and now obviously it's getting a little bit bigger and bigger. One of the things that I usually tell people though, is be very, very careful with these sizes, right? More often than not, they tell you, all right, we'll pick 800 by 600 or 1024 by 768. But the space that you have here isn't necessarily space that you actually have to work when you're trying to decide a page. Now, take a look. Here I have 24 by 768, right? So that's pretty normal. Now, what I'm going to do from here is bring up a Dreamweaver. Watch this. I'm going to minimize this, and I'll bring up Dreamweaver. Inside of here, I'm going to worry too much about anything else. I'm just going to make a new file. A new HTML file. I just want to show you one thing inside of it. I'll go ahead and I'll resize this. Take a look at this area right here. Notice that as I resize this Dreamweaver, that size changes. But if you click on this drop down, it gives you some settings here. It tells you 1024 by 768 maximized is in reality 955 by 600. 800 600 in actuality may be 760 by 420. These are all approximations. Let me show you why. I'll go ahead and I'll close the file because we don't need it now, and I'll bring up a browser. Now, let's just say that this you were looking at this at full screen. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this out. Let's just say for argument's sake that this entire screen that you see here is 1020 by 768. Now, if that were the case, that means that this web page maximized at 1024 by 768 from the top here to about this is using up specific amounts of space, right? So this toolbar that we have here uses up space. If I had other toolbars like antivirus or specialized toolbars, they use up space. This section right here at the bottom uses up space. If you're using Internet Explorer or Safari on Windows side, you have a sidebar over here that uses up space. So when you're designing, the canvas is really from here to here, over here on the right side, and it's much smaller than the overall video size that you have, the monitor size, if you will. That usually causes a problem because what people start doing is they start looking at a blank canvas and it's almost kind of like a goldfish syndrome. You go in here, you go, oh, blank canvas, and you start filling stuff out and you start filling stuff out, but you really have a lot less than you think that you do. Now, what I usually tell people is if you want to be able to start designing for this, take advantage of the web. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the web and inside of, let's say, something like Google, I'm just going to type in browser templates and go ahead and I'll click the enter take a look at the first thing that you see here it's a free Photoshop browser template for web designers what does this do this takes a window a snapshot of a specific browser window and you can use that I'm gonna scroll down and down here you have simple browser screenshot now you can go find a Firefox either 1024 by 768 Firefox 1.5, you have a ton of different browsers here. Let's use the 1.5 XB 1024 by 768. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up a window with that file. I'll go ahead and I'll either right click and save it or I'll just drag it onto the desktop. However you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. But you'll take that file, let me go ahead and close this, I'll close this, and I will take that file and open it inside of Photoshop. Now, if I do an image size, you'll see 1024 by 768, that's the whole window. But how big is this space right here in the center? If I use my wand to select it, I'm going to go to the info panel here, and you actually have 1002 by 654 on Firefox. And notice that you don't even have the tool, uh, the links bar down here, which is actually a lot less. So you can see that the space is actually much smaller. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to use sizes like this as a barometer for what I want my full screen page to look like. And when in doubt, I usually tell you, you know what, just use the Dreamweaver ones. So Dreamweaver set 955 to 600, go ahead and use that. But if you want to start designing and keeping that browser in the back of your mind, 
you can use something like this, like a browser screenshot. Let's do both to kind of play around with it. Let's say that I wanted to use this as a browser screenshot. The first thing I would do is I would go over here to the mode and I would change this to RGB color. That lets me unlock this background layer here. I'm just going to double click it and now that becomes browser. From here, I can go ahead and take this white box that I selected with the wand tool and delete it. That lets me make a hole that I can fill with web background color. So over here, I can just click on the black and white cookie and select solid color. That makes a solid color fill layer that I can use. I'm going to click OK. I'll call it web background. And I'll take that web background and I'll move it directly out of the browser. The cool part about that is that now, if I want to change a color, it's very, very quickly. Just click on the thumbnail and just move around and make whatever color I want. Easy enough. So this is how you can use a browser to kind of keep you legit, right? It kind of keeps everything framed, which is a good thing. And then you just kind of merge everything and send it to the client so that you can kind of see what it looks like. But once you get used to this, then you're going to want to design on a smaller space. For that, just make yourself a preset. Go to File, go to New, and under New, set up a preset based on whatever it is that you want. I'm going to use Dreamweaver's 955 by 600. And I'll just click on Save Preset. Once I have that saved, I'm going to say Maximized Window. Uh, let's see. 1024x768. I'm saving everything. I click OK. And now let's just do this. I'm going to close all these files out. And now if I go to File New, I can come over here and there's my maximized window. Everything's all set. Click OK. And I'm ready to start doing some layout work.